I want to talk about what I think uh, makes Robert Harding a successful thrower, and this is kind of just uh, freestyling, so bear with me. Uh, first of all, I want to talk about his uh, left hip rotation, essentially the unwind. Um, what I think is the most important aspect of the unwind, and you see this uh, just across throwers in general, is that uh, the left hip is is purely rotational um a lot of times you see with throwers they they shift uh they shift in in a and they go left so they so they move horizontally first before before they start to uh go down into the circle and this uh this is really just going to throw off any any axis of rotation that you could have that you could set up out of the back going into drive phase so uh it's it's crucial that that the left hip is just rotational uh, and you can see that here. He he just does that simply by working the left side together. So working the left arm with the leg on the same vertical plane uh, as he's as he's rotating. And he also does that by pushing off of the ground with the right leg. As you can see, his foot shifts slightly before he goes uh, into drive phase and and pushes off of the right leg. This. This uh, this movement of the left side rotating and the right side pushing off the ground is what makes the uh, the foot plant into the ground. So you see the foot stop uh, as he's driving into the middle. Uh, so it's so it's essentially like a corkscrew effect, which is uh, which is important because we want if we want that right leg to be nice and long, and, and we want to have as long of levers as possible. If if we want that, the only way we can get that is by setting an axis of rotation out of the back, and and the the best place to set that on is gonna be on the left hip. Uh, the only way we can do that is to essentially screw it in and get it to a point where it's not moving. A lot of people, a lot of people, they they hit with that left foot, especially e even even me. I, I've struggled with it. Um, they hit they hit with that left foot, and it keeps rotating. So they really don't have a set axis of rotation to move around. That's that's incredibly important um, for ease of throw and for efficiency. Um, so uh, second second thing I want to talk about is 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 essentially an extension of that idea where um, we're 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 being very rotational with our energy. That this is important. A lot a lot of times coaches talk about driving the circle, and and I don't really understand uh, where they're where they're coming from with this because the the drive is merely an accident of of the rotational energy. Well, what what takes us down the circle is the rotation. Uh, so, so what we see, so we we see him right here pushing off of the ground with the right. But when he's pushing, he's not trying to get his leg wide. He's not trying to do any of that. It, it, even though it does come high and it does come wide, that's merely a result. All he's doing is pushing left. He's pushing off. He's pushing off of the ground as he unwinds, and he's and he's right, and he's uh, making his right leg go right to the left. That's all he's doing. Um, this is this is important because it allows his left shoulder to keep rotating, right? If if he were to not push left and he tries to just say get long with his with his right leg or get wide or whatever, then that left shoulder is going to stall out because they, ultimately the left shoulder is connected with the right sh or with the right leg. So if that right leg is delayed in any way coming off the back of the circle, you're going to see that left shoulder starts to do funky things and it starts to make adjustments in the middle automatically. And a lot of people, what they do to overcome this is they try to get their chest up out of the back, but we don't want that because that's not the most efficient path. For the discus and it's not the most efficient axis of rotation that we can set up however people have thrown far doing that but it's not the most efficient way to do so and it's not something that can be applied across uh, many different people so this is this is what you see this this concept of uh, in drive phase rotating around this left shoulder as you can see he does it here sets sets the left shoulder um, through dry phase and then, and then through the entire middle of the throw, his left shoulder is just there. It's it's it essentially staying still. Left arm is long and he's rotating around it, chest down. Um, this is this is the exact model that 
uh, that Germans have been using for a while. <laughs> you can you can see it all the way all all, all the way back with uh, Jurgen Schult when he was when he was having his success and uh, Lars Riedel and uh, <clears throat> all those people. Um, this is this is important because it, it's it's all the throw is all about setting axes setting axes of rotation. Um, because we need to, if if we want movements to happen on their own, we need to have uh, things to rotate around, and we do that by essentially setting our body. So so what he's doing really well is he's getting that right leg out left, so that the left arm can so that the left arm and shoulder can freely rotate, and they don't have to they're not being uh, they don't have to manipulate their own movements in any way in order for him to keep coming down the circle. So that's why you can see that he can r rotate and the left shoulder can just freely be long and his orbit can be very long and he can be deep in the middle. So he, he can he, he's deep in the middle because because he sets that sets that hip rotation out of the back and he pushes left right away with his right leg. So if you if you can pick up anything from watching him, it's that. And uh, and the fact that that allows him to be extremely long in the middle. And obviously we know that that's what makes a throw go far is that patience in the middle. And that's how we can do it out of the back. Um, that's essentially what I wanted to talk about. Uh, he does a lot of other things well, but this is the main concept that – uh, I think I think allows him to throw far. He does these thing. He does these things uh, incredibly well. So.